Alright guys, welcome back, and this time I'm going to show you guys another cool keyword that you can put inside your loops, a little bit different from the break statement. This one is called continue. Now what this keyword does is it pretty much tells your program, ignore the rest of the code that's inside this loop, but don't completely break out of it. Just go to the top again and restart from another iteration or a next cycle kind of hard to just explain by talking so of course let's look at an example so let's go ahead and set this num equal to one and let's say that we're the coach of a hockey team and we have 10 people on our on our team cannot talk today and we're handing out numbers to every kid now some numbers have been taken already so if that's the case we're pretty much just gonna say hey this number is not available and we're going to be doing that through the use of continue. Now I'm just going to be making a do while loop because I'm kind of sick of those stupid for loops and the condition is while num is less than or equal to 10. So you pretty much have the numbers 1 through 10. Now I don't know why it gives me that much space. I don't want that. Jesus Louise spend half my tutorial just getting the cursor in the right spot okay so the first thing we need is a condition of when to continue because of course well that's the tutorial so we'll say let's pretend that the numbers six and eight are already taken so if num equals six or two little pipe signs num equals eight then what we want to do is num plus plus because if we don't have this right here, then it's just going to be stuck on 6 or 8 forever, and it's never going to break. Or it's never going to get completed, I should say. So num++ continue. And I'll talk to you guys in detail exactly what that does after I run my program, because it's going to be a little easier to understand. So this right here, outside the condition, is what's going to run... Um, by default if you don't hit this if statement so printf and let's just go ahead and print out the number so percent D and we'll put is available bump it to a new line and of course the thing we want to add is the only variable we have which is number which is basically the number of their jersey and num plus plus so we can go to the next iteration so again, let me run this right now and you guys are going to see what's going on. So what's going to happen is it's going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to skip over 6, go to 7, and it's also going to skip over 8. So why did it skip over those things? Well, that's the beauty of the continue keyword. Basically, what this program is saying is loop through the number 1 through 10. That's what it does by default without any of this code right here. However, we added this code to pretty much say, check for the number six or eight. If you come across that number, then add one to it, and that's just so the loop can finish, and it doesn't get stuck on the same number, and continue. Now what continue means is this, whatever's after this loop, whatever code comes after continue, just ignore it. As soon as you hit this continue keyword, go right back to the top, and start this loop again from 7. So again, once it got to 6, it said, OK, don't even run this at all. Just go back to the top of 7. So that's why it never printed out 6, and it never printed out 8, because it never got to this line. It just continued, which AKA means hop back to the top before this line could even be printed. Now again, it's a little bit different than break, because it doesn't completely break out of your loop and continue with this line of code outside your loop. What it does is it stays in the loop and keeps going and going. It just ignores the rest of the code. So hopefully you guys understood. And um, if you didn't, then just build a simple program like I did. And you guys are going to get it after like two times. Very simple concept. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Check out my uh, website, I guess. I don't know what to say. Uh, it's always like weird at the end of tutorials. I'm like, well. Uh, like see you uh, tomorrow or whatever. But anyways, see you tomorrow.